One Core Practice Basic Sitting Meditation Part 2 of 2 by Luminous Mountain Classically, the two basic qualities or outcomes of Samadhi, prolonged deep silence, are called Samatha, stable calmness, and Vipassana, deep insight. The stable calmness of Samatha is concentration because thoughts have stopped. The deep insights of Vipassana that follow are further and more complete insights on the nature of reality. The realization of these two early meditation fruits are accompanied by mental joy and physical bliss. This has a corresponding biochemical that will start to purify the nervous system. There are many ideas related to Samadhi, Samatha and Vipassana available for public consumption. Many can be misleading. If you get confused, always come back to these two part clips. If you feel inclined to explore the basic sound-based sitting meditation, let me now share the pleasant sounds that you may choose to act as a vehicle for your attention. There are a few ways to pick or to be given the sound used for meditation. Here is one that is based on your age and the sounds are syllables from a Rig Veda verse. Devo Rucha Surocho Rocha Mana It means they who give shine from heaven with fair effulgence. For your meditation practice, it is better for you not to know the meaning of each word. So if you are 40 years old or 75 years old now, the sound for you will be Rocha. Repeat this sound comfortably for your meditation based on the guidelines I've shared in part 1. Inner transformation will really kick in if the prolonged deep silence, Samadhi, is experienced in your day-to-day -day activities. The frequent experience of Samadhi now becomes a state of Samadhi. You will now become more human, trans-free and more alive rather than a manufactured humanoid who are incapable to think and feel deeply for himself. A humanoid is a product meant to serve the personal agenda of the manufacturer. And your manufacturer can come in many guises. Society, culture, religion, guru and corporations. Inner transformation is a very conscious inner journey if you choose to undertake it. As in all journeys, each person will pack different preferential items to carry for the journey. But everyone will need one core item that is unavoidable, the travel ticket. This ticket is the sound-based basic sitting meditation highlighted here. Once you've got your essential travel ticket, you are free to pick your personal items that fit your journey. There are many roads and doors that can lead you to deep silence. Sakyamuni himself in, in Vishuddhi Manga listed 10 great constant awareness that can lead one to Samadhi. The Mahayana Surangama Sutra mentions 25 doors to enter Samadhi. India's Vijnana Bhairava Tantra offers 112 body-oriented techniques that promise to give radiance and delight that eventually lead to deep silence. Huinan Platform Sutra mentioned that there are 84,000 afflictions in life, thus there are 84,000 Dharma doors that can free one from these afflictions. It is recommended that one picks at least three techniques to practice regularly. One is the basic sitting meditation, then pick one's favourite technique and another that one really disliked. 
Sakyamuni was once passing a hermitage when he saw two students practicing meditation. Noticing their strained postures, he entered the hermitage and approached the Guru. The Buddha highlighted that the two were having difficulty in their practice. Surprised, the Guru said that though both were seasoned meditators, yet they cannot have breakthrough. Sakyamuni then asked what they were practicing. One was a silver smith, having the ability to concentrate on very fine work, was practicing the technique of prolonged breath holding. The other was a cloth bleacher, having seen white clean cloth all the time, was practicing the technique of seeing white light. Sakyamuni then instructed both to switch techniques. In a short time, both experienced breakthrough in their meditations. This story highlights the importance of not picking only the easy technique, but also choose the one that you resist. Meditation means to leave your mind uncontrived, uncorrupted and fresh. Let your mind rest in its natural, unrestrained and free state. Within this great equal state of your innate nature, let your mind stay unmoved, just as the flame of a butter lamb, not moved by the wind. Patman Sambhava, 8th century, founder of Tibetan Buddhism. If you have gained value from this work, always give others the opportunity to reap this value too. Sharing is caring, and caring brings fortune.